face before the beat. If y'all could see the setup that I've got going on to make this work, you would laugh, but I gotta be at work at four because I have to watch children, but I wanna be there by 3.45, it's 2.19, so we're gonna work on miracles. But I'm gonna do this as a get ready with me vlog where you're gonna see me get ready and then yeah, there's nothing in that, so that's, you know, life affirming. Yesterday's vlog, which I don't know why you're over here if you've not seen yesterday's vlog, a little confused. But um, I was talking about wanting to be more social, wanting to be out, wanting to network, and pushing myself to do that because I'm young, I think I'm fun, but more importantly, I have dreams, ambitions, goals, like anyone else and the people who are watching um, my vlogs and are just subscribed to my channel or who are not subscribed to my channel. Hmm. <laughs> Emoji. And I'm really trying to make things work for myself. So Lane had shared a link to me last night. We were supposed to go out, but like, you know, rain and tiredness are real factors. But she shared a link with me for an event tonight. That's like a mixer. I've never been to a mixer before. So I'm excited to see how this works and the different people that I'll meet. And just, you know, um, what could come from these things? I've got business cards, you know, so that's pretty cool for my job. I need to make my own separate business cards. That's on my to-do list. So that's something I'm thinking about as I step into this world of networking and whatnot. But I'm excited. It's in Oakland. I'm going to go after work. And yeah, basically just network with folks talk i don't really know what a mixer i don't know if it's like a mixer is like half professional half like social like meet your husband meet your wife meet your whatever partner in life and crime or just meet a buddy but i am interested to see what comes from this and this, it'll be my first of many cocktail job i'm on this mission for getting outside seeing the world both on a continent level and in my background like in my neighborhood in my backyard as they say because i am so much more than my thoughts or just thinking about greatness and i hope that y'all have that same kind of mindset and that's who I'm starting to keep myself company with because, you know, I just don't have time to be around people who don't see better for themselves or who don't want to push the envelope and move because selfishly, I'm um, this, getting that wig laid, selfishly, I think that I thrive more when my friends also want to win. And so I want people who want to be better because it pushes me to be better. I also want them to be better like by themselves. But like in thinking about things, gonna keep you all updated on the process, I think that we all benefit if everyone's grinding. And I saw a post, I think on Instagram, by someone who's like, grind culture is bad, we need to take rest and breaks. And I agree with that. I do agree with like, not k surrendering to the notion that you need to constantly be working and that you should be searching for this next level of success. But I do think that you need to be content for the correct pace in your life and to listen to yourself. And I think that at this point in my life, I'm not content with just being idle. 
and I want to build something for myself. And for me, what I want to build is something business-like, is something organization and being in charge of folks like, which is not what everybody wants and not what everyone needs, but it's what my kind of aspirations are. And so therefore the grind is essential. Taking time for myself is also important and I acknowledge that and I want to make sure that I'm learning how to make those healthy balances. But I think that the friends and the company that I keep need to, if not like, not everyone has to be like business oriented, but they have to be working in their truth. Working in their truth. Ooh, let's do a song. Let's see, what song am I thinking of? Yeah, I can't sing. Uh, but I like when I do my makeup, I like to like be musical. I can't play music, so I guess this is gonna be a Google the words to a song. What song do I wanna sing? Let's do some Summer Walker. I don't know, I'm like nervous. What song do I wanna do? Remember, I, I can't sing y'all, but I just like being able to be free. Like, I feel free in the gym and I feel free when I'm by myself to go make up, like taking care of my skin. I remember what you told me. Said I wasn't made right. Said I wasn't cut right. That's why I'm so lonely. Can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Yeah, I was just a homie, a fun girl. I can still be your day one right here. There's some parts, yeah. Take me out of the categories of marriage. Is it cause I know what I want just like you? Cause I make my own money and my own rules. Love who I want and fuck who I choose. Don't take no shit, it won't be used. But I guess that makes me undesirable. First one. Um, let me focus on my makeup too, but let's see. Y'all know about that session 32? Y'all know about that session 32? Da -da. Threw away your love letters. I thought it make me feel better, and I finally got you out my bed. But I still can't get you out my head. Ooh, I'm sending you one text at a time. I know you by your phone, so boy, pick up your line. And I am too put too proud, and I ain't too proud to beg. You see what what's been said has been said. After this, you know, and and I need you to know uh, that you don't know what love is, and I need you to know. You don't know what if you don't know what love is if you don't put up a fight and you don't know what love is if you don't stay up a night you don't know what I don't know what love is what okay let's um Send the tape to go faster to finish the brows or you'll catch me up next after I finish the brows. All right, y'all, I'm back. Just put the concealer on my lids. I was just thinking about this. This is gonna severely suck if uh, <laughs> I review this and I'm like, girl, them notes, them notes. But you know, I'm a real one. I'm not gonna take back. This is a vlog. I gotta, you can't redact your life. Or can you? But what I do, you're gonna see. There's not gonna be any question, did she really do that in real life? Yes, I did. 
Yes, I did. I'm gonna get close that y'all can see. It's just like I wanna see my blend. And I'm looking at three different mirrors. This mirror, Huda. This mirror, selfie. This mirror, bathroom. It's a lot. I never thought I hear myself say, yeah, y'all go ahead. I think I'm gonna go with my girl today, kick it with my girl today. I used to be commander in chief, my pimp chef, flying high, flying high, until I met this pretty little Miss A who got me the sky. Oh, she snuck me out. Girl, you know I'm crashing. Don't know how that happened, but I'm not feeling so damn good. Something, something, something. You see, like, are you the right kind of person where you know, like, some lyrics and that that moment happens where you're like, ooh. So you see what happened was, I don't even know. I don't even know. I got that beat, beat, beat going. Blend, 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 strong and Y'all didn't tell me it was 2-4 and I gotta leave in 30 minutes. Y'all wrong. Y'all big wrong. Wrong, wrong. season let's talk about that so like the songs are following a particular theme do y'all believe in cuffing season are y'all being strong during the season not to cuff or do you think it's the opposite way around that like to cuff is the big dick energy move and then to not cuff, or no to not cuff is the big dick energy move and to cuff is not, or are you big dick energy move is to cuff and to not is to not. Like where are you? Where are you on the cuffing? Are you trying to cuff? Yes, no, what is cuffing? I have such a weird, weird, weird relationship to all things that. Never been in a relationship. <laughs> I just don't know why. Uh, I probably know why. Um. But like cuffing is not necessarily, it's not, it does not have to be relationships, but I'm just so weird about like intimacy. I really am. I don't know if y'all can relate. So like me, I'm doing well this cuffing season because I just do not have a high abundance of trust and especially not for niggas. I'm going to say it here and now. They've not really shown me <laughs> the ones that I've. been a privilege to talk to have not really shown me a good reason as to why but how are y'all feeling about this thing we call cuffing like what's am i the only one who has like intimacy weirdness it's okay i'll take that hell by myself but i know i'm not i've spoken to a lot of different people on their takes on just The distinction between being a relationship person and wanting just to be intimate with someone without the kind of commitment that comes with relationships. And then just people who are like weird about intimacy but like want to be intimate. Yeah, I'm letting y'all enter into like some TMI territory, but you know, it's where my mind's at and I rather not stray away from where my mind's at. So, like, how do you build that trust? Is it like trusting yourself first to be able to discern the right person? Do I just not trust myself or, you know, well, how does that work? How does that work? I'm doing all this work to figure out myself, you know, socially, professionally. What do I want to do in this life? What do I, what are my goals? What are all these things and something that I've just continually put away is a discussion of intimacy and connections and whatnot because like for me it's really rough really really rough and probably can stem from a lot of different things it could be 
family related. It could be, you know, it could be a lot of things. School, past interactions with folks. Who am I to say? But one bit complicated mess. I see people who are like quick to get into relationships. And I'm just like, how? <laughs> like, I do not view people who are in relationships at all as like, oh, she's just selling. I think that you all are some of the strongest people to like trust someone with your joy and your energy like that. I am too afraid. Yeah. I think I'm fearful. And because I don't think this, I don't think this part's the issue of wanting to focus on myself. But like, I'm not gonna lie. It'd be nice. But then my mind's just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I, I you know, clench butt, like clench, clench, clench. I feel like I always have clench. Like my, my reticence to relationships is just like a clenched butt, like waiting for the other food to drop or whatever the phrase is. Because. I just don't, I don't know, I just think there's some insecurities there, for sure. Putting myself first at all times and making sure that I'm being respected. To listen to my friends uh, about the relationships that I'm in, if they're like, buddy, you know that we have the best interest at heart. This person's not shit. As my friends, people who I trust, this person's not it because we know they've been literally saying shit. They are doing messed up things to me. Like, they are defaming my character and playing, like, like switching the role right to my face. Sorry, I'm choosing my friends and my family 10 times out of 10. Because I think that's why we have friendships is that even when we can't trust ourselves to make some decisions about things, we can trust the trust that we put into other people. And I'm deaf and who like, and I know this is true of myself because I just think about like conversations, using some Fenty, I've not been showing all the products. Oh, this is the palette that I was using. But I know that this via the conversations that I've had with my friends, I've had a lot of breakthroughs, you know, about some issues that I may have about, sorry, uh, intimacy and relationships. And it's a really important network that I've established with my friends that shows me that your relationship, I don't think it's necessarily singular. And not that like you don't have your own private things that you should work out with that person. But it's like, yo, the moment you feel alone and isolated that you can't talk to anyone. And also that like, your friends and your people, and when I say friends, I don't mean like, hey girl, hey, from down the block. I'm talking about your friends, like your best friend. Um, and y'all have that kind of lot of communication to talk about what is not good or what is not going well or what are those negative habits that we have that stem from not necessarily relationships, but like just bad habits that we've been trained by, insecurities that we let enter the forefront of our decision-making process. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And I would not, like, ooh, I'm so appreciative to my friends. Like, and so, I don't know. I don't know, sis. I'm here for healthy relationships and also just healthy whatever situations that you're putting yourself in when you're being intimate with someone, even just like, even if it's a one night stand, protect yourself, protect yourself and trust those who want you to be protected as well. This wasn't even supposed to be like a preachy preach. Like it really wasn't. But I just think that it needs to be said that if there's any doubt in your mind that, you're, that your truth is not being respected, that 
you are participating in your insecurities in a way that is not healthy for you, that that should be evaluated. And that's really on that. Um, Period.com. Period.com. We don't have time to just give our time, our beauty to folks who will manipulate it, who will spin it around, manipulate it, and then tell you that you're crazy. Say it's your fault. Oh no, nobody. <clears throat> I told Satan no a long time ago. I ain't getting bad with him. That's for facts. Definitely not getting in bed with them. So, take that for what you will. Great assault, Jazz, you don't know what you're talking about. Whatever. But, I just want to see us win. And that does not have to be like girl to guy. It can be the other way around. It can be in any relationship with any person. Like, it doesn't have to be like, you know, binary stick. It's just, is the person who you are with healthy for you and do you feel like when you are changing because you will change that this person will be there for that change and will at least be communicative for the parts that they don't understand the parts that they're not gonna just shut you out from and say that you need to stop changing and transforming do you have that person in your life and if you don't sister sister brother my sibling we might start thinking about. We might want to start thinking about some things. This is the look so far. I'm gonna go put my clothes on and I'll show you the look after. So look up to it. So this is the look. I get her better pictures of it, like if one lands with me, but just this dress is from Target. It's like a wrap dress situation. Fashion Nova, my aunts, my glasses, beat by me. And then shoes, the anklet is from Fashion Nova. These shoes I got from Macy's. I'm gonna get like a jacket and then I'm just gonna carry, excuse the mess, my LV bag, make sure that I have my business cards with me. But yeah, I think I did pretty well. I cleaned up pretty nicely. I can clean up pretty nicely, y'all. But I'll catch up with y'all when I'm at work or when I'm approaching the meet and greet or mixer, whatever it is. All right, bye.